Hello everybody, welcome to Project Beauty where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. It feels so good to be back. Um, I got sick there uh, about a week ago and it was really bad. I was so sick. I was like vomiting and nausea and headache and all the things. And it was just horrible for two days straight. And then I didn't eat a full meal until like Thursday. So I was like dehydrated and tired and hungry <laughs> by Thursday. I actually had no appetite for a few days. Um, but anyway, I'm feeling quite a bit better now. I think it was a food allergy because I get sick quite often. And I think it's an allergy to something that I'm ingesting. So right now I'm playing the food diary game and like trying to figure out like removing things and adding things in. It's a, such a nuisance, but I definitely, um, I feel better so I mean I need to figure out what this is because it's really it hinders everything it's like do I go on a vacation do I see my friends do I hang out like am I gonna get sick if I eat somewhere um, so it's just that my whole life for like well, at least 10 years or more have been that so um, I really need to figure out what the heck this is <laughs> so all that aside I want to share with you guys my makeup inventory. I apologize if that beginning part was a lot, but I want to share with you guys my makeup inventory because uh, it's time. I wanted to do this in January, but I just had so many videos back to back to back to back in January and I just had no time to get this out. It was so busy. Um, and then of course, February uh, was a little bit slower. I didn't have too, too many things on the go, but then I, I kept getting sick or not having enough time. So um, I'm so excited to share this with you guys. Uh, I want to forewarn you, these numbers are going to be high. <laughs> they are going to be high. So if you're offended by that, please exit out the video. No harm, no problem. It's no issue. Um, I just want you guys to understand that I love makeup and I've loved makeup since I was a child. Like I've had a passion for makeup my entire life. And anyone who knows me knows I love makeup and that's like my thing that makes me happy. And so when you see the numbers or hear the numbers, you're probably going to be like, holy shit. <laughs> but honestly, like for me, I'm happy where I'm at, but I also have a lot right now and I need to work through some and that's what 2022 is. And that's why I'm on a low buy this year because um, it's just, it's gotten to the point where I have products that I probably won't use before they go bad and I don't want to just use them a few times and then let them sit in my collection. I want to use my collection. So uh, let's just go ahead and start. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about things as we get there, but the first uh, tab that I have, I'm looking at my laptop if I'm looking down, so I apologize that I'm not making complete eye contact the whole time, but I have to look at my my laptop. So uh, the first one is face primers and for 2021, at the beginning of 2021, so that's the the totals I'm going to give you is the first like 2021 will be January and then 2022 will be February. These goals are or totals are from January because I haven't bought anything in February yet. So um, just so you guys are aware, it's January to January, even though it's a February video. <laughs> Uh, so 2021, I had 12 face primers. So I include sample, like not samples, but like minis. And I guess there's deluxe size samples. So I don't have an example on me right now. Like something like this, I don't count. But something like this size, I would count. Because to me, that's a container. A foil packet is not, it's just like a couple uses and that's it. Where the other one is a substantial amount of product enough that I feel like it's good enough to add into my inventory. So including those, I have, I had 12 at January, 2021. And this year I have 16. I do feel like this number will actually go down pretty well this year. If the number doesn't go down, I will definitely get a lot of use of products that I have. But my goal is to use my sample sizes because I, I can just see right here alone I have at least 10 sample sizes, probably 10 sample sizes out of 16. So I don't have a lot of full sized primers. Um, so just keep that in mind. <laughs> um, but at the same time, that is still quite a lot of primer and it is a cream slash liquid product. So there's potential for it to go bad faster. So I don't want to um, bring any more into my collection. I want to use what I have. Uh, the next one is tinted moisturizers and I'm considering putting this into my foundation 
totals, just tinted moisturizers and foundations maybe next year or something. Uh, but I only have three. So um, I would like to get one more, but at the same time, I have three. So until I physically use up either one of my foundations or one of the tinted moisture or tinted yeah tinted moisturizers that I have right now I don't need to bring another one in so I have three and I do have two different color selections that I choose because I'm very pale in the winter time like right now I'm at my palest I'm bronzing my face so I have a little bit of color but it's potentially like my skin shade is very fair or fair not very fair but it's fair and then in the winter or the summertime, I go potentially if I'm out in the sun a lot, I can go three to five shades darker. Like I can get really, really dark and um, I need to be a more aware. I don't want to do that anymore. I, I, I don't mind getting a couple shades darker, but I don't want to be in the sun so much that I'm like brown, brown, brown. Like I'm like that's dangerous, dangerous, too much sun, you know, so all the sunscreen and all the things. But um yeah, I do have to have two different color selections or at least um, one foundation that's quite a bit darker than all my other ones that I can add a couple of drops in to like kind of fix up my own, like, you know, produce my own shade. So um, yeah, <laughs> I do have a few. The, the reason I have so many foundations and tinted moisturizers is because uh, I have two different shades of skin that I'm buying for for myself. So three of those and then foundations, I had nine in 2021 and I currently still have nine. However, I feel like this will change for me this year, hopefully. So um, I'm happy with that. So 12 overall, I feel like that's still more than any one person needs, but there's always some new brands coming out. Like the tinted moisturizers is where I'm at right now. A lot of my foundations I bought a few years ago, maybe two years ago, three years ago, when I was into thick, heavy, cakey makeup and like putting a lot on a lot of full coverage and maybe not thick, cakey makeup, but like, yeah, full coverage. And then now I like a tinted moisturizer. I'm okay with a few blemishes coming through. I'm okay with, you know, I have wrinkles. I have such and such. And as I get older, um, the thick, the, the very heavy, opaque foundation is not not good for aging skin. <laughs> so I have to work through some of those and I think tinted moisturizer is like where it's at for me. Um, the next thing is concealers and for that one I started off in 2021 at 19 and again all of these include uh, deluxe samples and minis and then uh, for 2022 I still have 19. I went up to 20 in the middle of 2021 um, but I apparently like I used one up so that's exciting I at least I'm using some of my concealer up and I went on a big buying spree last year um, I, I think in 2020 I had 13 <laughs> so I just I bought like six I bought like seven you know and then I used one and so it's just a whole thing where for concealers, I I need to find that sweet spot. Right now, I'm the only one that I'm really enjoying is my MAC one. And I can't just have like everything MAC in my collection. It's not a big deal, like honestly, but <laughs> um, I just don't find, I find like a lot of my other ones crease. Like this one here, this little tart, this is actually a concealer that I showed you earlier, is very thick. And I don't know if it's because it's a little bit older and maybe it's gone off but I also have a Kosas concealer which is in this little it was from a foil packet and I put it in here you get quite a bit actually from the foil packet that'll last me a long time and um, I actually don't mind this one but I find that it's drying a little bit just a little more than I would like so I'm thinking of mixing like a blob of um, either primer into that or moisturizer or something just a tiny little blob and then mixing it all up concocting my own like thingy because I feel like that concealer is just too drying and then it looks kind of crepey and like you can see it settles into my fine lines today I have it on and I feel like it looks really really nice I also moisturized very well before I did my makeup so I feel like that helped a lot and I like it I feel like it makes me look a little more youthful you're not seeing all the bags and stuff underneath my eyes today which is great because that's all I've been seeing for the last week <laughs> um, but yeah 
concealers I'm okay with. I would like to bring that number down a little bit, but I got a little crazy on wanting to try a bunch of different concealers. So I feel like this, um, this selection, this, what do you call it? Um, category. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this category may increase and I may have to declutter as I find things out. I'm kind of playing with concealer right now. So that's something that I'm I'm doing, but I also don't want to buy this year. I'm just using what I have. So next year or at the end of 2022 is when I'm giving myself permission to um, maybe take advantage of some of the sales, the Black Friday sales or Boxing Day sales or whatever. And so maybe at that point, um, or if I see like a ridiculously good sale on somewhere like Sephora has 50% off a of concealer, I may pick one up. But it's just something I'm really working on and I'm acknowledging the fact that every time I use a different concealer, I just don't find that sweet spot for myself. So I'm working at that. And I like this Kosas one. I think it's really nice and I may have to invest in it, but I, of course I want to use what I have up first until a sale. So the next is loose powders and uh, the, the 2021 January total was 12 and my 2022 total is 12. Um, most of these are little sample ones that you either got free with a promo code from Sephora or um, I apologize, my allergies are going crazy right now. Um, so it's either the sample ones or minis. So most of them are small and I could probably pound through some of them this year. Hopefully I would like to use up at least two for sure of the smaller ones. Um, and then maybe a couple of my like foil packet ones that I got. And then for pressed powders, I have from 2021, I had 10 and 2022, I still have 10. Nothing of that has changed. I think I bought most of these um, in 2020 and maybe a few earlier in the year and then used up a few because I remember I used up two powders last year. So I brought a couple of powders in last year. So it just evened itself out. So I've just been staying at 10. Um, and then setting sprays. This is a, a fluctuating situation, but it's something that I feel like always has high numbers because I love my setting sprays. I love my Fix Plus. I can go through those like crazy, like you guys would not believe. Um, so 2021, I had 12. I used quite a few up from the previous year though. And then this year I have 18 and I am working through um let me see one two three four I'm working through five actually <laughs> I'm working I'm working on five right now so it's a lot uh so hopefully I hope I can finish all five of those items I think they're all in the same category I'm pretty sure and then I'm also working on like when you get those little tiny um mac the little itty bitty spritz sprays I, I also put those through but those don't count towards my inventory Anything that's like this size or up, that would be like in my inventory. Um, what else do we have here? Bronzer. Okay, this is where the numbers start to increase. <laughs> so what I want to advise you guys on for bronzers, blushes, highlighters, um, contours, like setting powders, like highlighters, I call them highlighters, the, the things that go like press under your eyes. Um, all of that stuff I take as singles, uh, duos, face palettes. I count every single option I have in everything and that's what goes to my total. I don't count face palettes separately. Face palettes are not a category. I count everything that's inside those palettes as an individual single. So I have to go through every single one of those every time I do my inventory and make sure that I, if I use one up, which I haven't, <laughs> I hope to this year, but I haven't yet. Um, I'm just going to quickly go off screen for just a second. I'm so sorry, but my, my allergies are crazy. Okay. So yeah, everything in my face palettes all counted as singles. So if there's six in, say there's like two highlighters, two blushes, two bronzers, then, then those two highlighters go into a category. Those two blushes go into a category. Those two bronzers go into a category. I'm doing a lot of explaining. I hope this is okay. I'm sure this is too much, <laughs> but 
I'm, I hope you're enjoying it anyway. So for bronzers, this is for powder and cream. So I started in 2021 January with 30 and I have 2022, I have 37. So I went from 30 to 37. Bronzers is a category that I always felt was a little bit tiny for me because my singles collection is really small. Um, and then of course, like I'm using up like these, these kind of bronzers, my cream bronzers this year. Uh, and then also I have like that big tart face palette that has all the like maybe six or eight bronzers in it or whatever. Um, so stuff like that. And all of those count as a bronzer. And this year I have big goals. I've actually been using bronzer quite a bit the previous years. I haven't really used bronzer much at all. I was a contour girl at heart and I'm still interested in contouring. But then I add a little bit of bronzer and it just makes me feel a little more warm, a little more sun-kissed. Um, and I enjoy it. So I'm really liking bronzers lately. So, uh, yeah, I went up seven and I'm okay with that. I'm actually really great with that. I feel like my selection is awesome and I will actually be really sad to see some of these go and I've found a few favorites. So that's really exciting for me. Uh, the next column is contour powder. So 2021, I started off with 26 contour powders and 2022, I have 29 contour powders. Um, a lot of these are Kat Von D. So, or KBD, whatever you want to call it now. Uh, I have the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, like the original OG. I'm not getting rid of it. Yes, it's old. I know. I'm still going to use it. <laughs> um, but I also bought the duos where like she had separated them or maybe KVD Beauty did when they took over, separated them into like just a two pack. So you have a highlight and a contour. And I bought three of those because they were on like half price. And I love that shade. I love the powder. I think it's beautiful. And I wanted a few backups. Did I need three backups? No. <laughs> no, I did not. So I think that's a lot and I may put one in a giveaway. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do there. Um, but I love the powder. I think it's amazing. I, I'm, like I said, I'm a contour girl at heart. I enjoy, I don't have beautiful high cheekbones and a, like, you know, a little bit thinner sunken in kind of back part of my jaw here. Um, I don't have that natural beauty look to my face. I have a double chin. I got a contour, you know, I got a larger nose. I got a tiny forehead. I, I got to do things to help me out. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy being me. I'm very happy being me. I'm totally fine with the things. Um, just means I get to use makeup more. <laughs> so yeah, I went up a little bit, but I have a feeling that this year those numbers will come down and I'm looking forward to seeing usage in my collection. The next one is the highlight powder. So that's the brightening powders that I'm talking about. Um, 2021, I was at 20 and 2022, I'm still at 20. I have not bought any. I do not need to buy any. I feel like that's a lot. Um, those are, I just, I feel like it's a staple, but also I feel like, um, sometimes I can just use my foundation to set underneath my eyes because I just don't, care to grab a bunch of different things. At the same time, do I love sitting in front of the vanity? Yeah, I really love it. It's my favorite thing. It's like, I feel like when a painter sits down at their easel and they paint on this like blank canvas, that's what I feel like of a face. I feel like it's art. I feel like it's fun and therapeutic and calming for me. Um, and so I love it. Every single aspect, every little thing, I love it. Um, but I have 20 and I feel like that's just so much for this little tiny portion of I like, uh, face right here. Just a tiny little portion of my face. That's 20 powders is a lot. So <laughs> the next is blush. Uh, I'm already, gonna, I feel, I feel the comments are already going to come. Um, I have <laughs> 2021. I started off with 94 blushes. This year I have 108 blushes and I am not sure if I included, I did not this is powder and cream. I still have a few more blushes that I need to add to this actually because I have some Saint Beauty blushes that I need to add to this because I, I didn't add them because it was a business for me before. I only sold it for about a year and I really wish I still sold it honestly but life just got way too crazy. Um, I just have no time to dedicate 
to selling, unfortunately, but they have really nice cream blushes. And um, I still have probably, I want to say eight, eight of those, 10 of those, something like that. I thought I had 12, but I don't have that many. Anyway, I need to add those to this. So the number will definitely jump, but I've had them already. Even last year I had them. I just didn't include them in my inventory. So I have a lot. I probably have over 120 cream and powder blushes. Now, keep in mind, I did declutter a few from my collection and I forgot to remove them from my inventory. So I know I re removed like three of them, but I got rid of seven. So this number will, pr it's probably about under 120, just under 120. Um, but I have to go through every single thing again and I have to wait until um, I can add all this stuff into my physical spreadsheet. So things are a little crazy right now, but I'm definitely going with um, beginning of the years and I only just wanted to start adding my uh, Saint Saint cream blushes into my inventory. So that's okay. I'm totally fine with it not being included right now and I do have to go through but I decluttered after January so I'm still counting these all as being there. Um, illuminators. So highlight illuminators. Um, this is powder only. And I don't know why I have cream and powder separate when everything else is cream and powder included. So I might just include those um, as a category, like included in the category, but maybe it's because of the sheer volume. So <laughs> I started off 2021 with 157 highlighters. Now, again, all my face palettes included, I have a lot of highlighter palettes. A lot of highlighter palettes and quite a few drugstore ones. I'm gonna yawn. I'm sorry. I'm trying to fight it. In 2022, I have 175 highlighters. In 2022, 175 highlighters. <sighs> That's a lot. Am I mad at it? Hell no. <laughs> I love highlighters. I really don't care if times change for people and trends change for people. I am not a trend goer. I don't follow trends. I like to try trends actually. Um, the brows were a total fluke. Um, in 2020, um, that's when these like laminated brow things started. Like Maybe before that, but that's when I acknowledged them more. Cause I was like, oh, how do people do that with their brows every single day, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, just for shits and giggles, I'm going to do it. And I did it and I loved it. <laughs> and now I do them every single time. <laughs> every single time I do my makeup, I do laminated brows um, or the best of my ability. Cause I have a lot of brow hair. Um, so I don't usually follow trends. I will try some makeup trends occasionally, but they are just too wacky for me. I'm getting too old for that crap. Like sticking tape all around your face just to get a little lip liner. What the hell? Like, I, no offense if you guys do that, but it's just not for me. I am not about that life. Um, so I went up quite substantially <laughs> with my illuminators and I definitely know I need to get a few out. Um, I did get rid of a few. I actually gave a couple away. Um, I feel this yawning keep coming on. I'm so sorry. I gave a couple away and so I know I made some room in my collection but again I don't know if I actually went through my category and removed it but probably I did because I'm really up on keeping my highlighters like right on um, but anyway let's we'll just, just move over to the next column so cream illuminators I have two so same thing 2021 and 2022 I had two last year I actually had three in the middle of the year because I did buy a full size of one that I had a mini of but I used up the mini so now I still only have two in my collection the next is lip primer I have one mac prep and prime lip primer and that's all I've had for the last three years um although I had one I used it and then I bought another one so it's not the same one <laughs> but I still have one um for lip liner I had 28 in January of 2021 and I now have 20 because I went through and I decluttered a whole bunch of um 
lip liners for my collection because it was just too many. I don't use lip liner that much. I love the one that I have on today, which actually I'll show you. I think it's called Fresh Clay from MAC. And yeah, this is called Fresh Clay. And I love this lip liner. I plan on getting this one again. And I'm pretty sure I'll use this up really quickly. I love the retractable ones. I know I go through them faster and there's probably not as much product, but for as few lip liners as I actually really need, I could probably have three retractables and just replace them and I would be fine in life. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't need 20. I really don't need 20. I rarely use a liner, unfortunately, but uh, I did declutter a whole bunch and I got those are already have a home. So um, the next one is liquid lipstick. I had 23 in 2021 and in 2022 I have 26. I do actually have, um, I have a couple that I got rid of and I can't remember if I updated my collection again. I know I got rid of the Ofra ones. They went bad fast actually, faster than I was assuming. And then there was a few Sephora ones that I had actually decluttered as well because I felt like I wasn't going to get to those colors and I had some of them in my bullets and so I just decluttered those ones too but I have way too many liquid lipsticks I never wear liquid lipsticks so this year is a change for me I'm more into um a lip gloss style look and I think it's because I haven't had to work like work at work so I haven't worn a mask that much so I'm using lip gloss at home and I'm loving it where once I go back to work, which would be very soon, um, I'm going to have to wear a mask again. So I won't be using as much lipstick. I won't be wearing lip gloss. Um, and if I do, it'll be like after work. But then if it's, if I'm outside in my truck, I can't have the windows down because my hair will get stuck in the lip gloss. <laughs> so it's just a whole thing. Like this is how my brain works. I have anxiety. Like, well, maybe I don't have anxiety, but you know what I mean? Like it gets there. You talk, 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 talk. And it's just like, just stop. Just stop. <laughs> I can make myself go crazy, okay? <laughs> so this is just too many. It's too many, too many. I need to get rid of some. And I have gone through some, but it's like, why am I hanging on to these? Like, why am I holding on to so many liquid lipsticks? I just don't understand. It's not a thing for me anymore. Bullets now, on the other hand, I did also declutter a whole bunch of those as well. Um, in 2021, I had 59. And then in 2022, I'm down to 55, which is still a lot. And I feel like something, it still seems high to me. Um, but I, I last year, I think I got eight of them out, eight of my lipsticks out. And not just like mac ones but like i think i used a bobby brown mini and a nars one uh and then the rest i think i used six or seven mac bullet lipsticks because i plowed through them in the pandemic um with me going back to work now that everything's restrictions are lifted which i think personally is ridiculous right now but restrictions are lifted and i have to go back to work soon and I'm not going to be able to wear lipstick that much. So I think I'm not going to get through as many, nearly as many as I did last year. Maybe even like less than half. But this is still a lot. I really don't need this many. But I remember when I bought all these 2017, 2018, 2019. And I was like, oh, all the lipsticks, every color. I love all of it. And no, I mostly wear nudes. Like sometimes a deep red, whatever or a bright red but like I need one bright red one deep red and then a couple nudes like I don't need a shit ton of lipstick so I will be working these down I'm not buying any lipstick if I have free things from MAC and I can get a free lipstick maybe I'll get a new nude <laughs> but other than that I don't need any more and then lip gloss and lip balm. This number is also high because I love lip gloss. This is a new thing for me. Um, in 2022, I had 12. Like I barely had any. That was mostly just lip balm. And then in 2021, I started getting into lip gloss more. And the lip balms I always have a bunch of because I buy those fresh, like these ones here in like bulk, like five or six and so I have a few of those on hand and I use them all over the place one in my purse one in my whatever blah 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 anyways so this year for 2022 or 2021 I had 30 and 2022 because I bought so many lip glosses now I have 50 so that's a lot my son's getting yelled at and it's very distracting for me right now and I'm like 
I have to hurry up. <laughs> it's fine. I just, I got to make sure he's okay. Um, so liquid cream eyeshadow. Um, those ones are like the ones here, I'll show you like this liquid cream eyeshadows. So I have, I had 11 in 2021. I have 11 in 2022. For single eyeshadows, I haven't gone through and counted every single individual one. Um, but 20, oh, he's crying. Okay, I gotta hurry up. Uh, I had 321 and then now it says I have 323, but I know I have a few more than that. Uh, and then I also took all of my MAC singles out, so I know I have way more than that. Um, inventory eyeshadow for pigment. I have for 2021, I had 32 and 2022, I have 30. That is definitely too much. I need to work on that. Um, and then in, uh, for my eyeshadow palettes, I had 136 and this year I have 162. That is why I'm not buying very many eyeshadows at all. 162 palettes and I've actually decluttered quite a few. So, um, I don't need at all this many. This is too many. And I'm not even getting to all of these eyeshadow palettes in a year. So that's why I'm doing my Panos palettes. And if even if I don't finish all of them, they're going because I have more to use. Um, pot eyeliners. I had 16 in 2021. I have 17 in 2022. A lot of those are Suva Beauties. Love those. Those are so great. I count those as well uh, as pot. Even though they're hydro liners, I count them as pot eyeliners. And then um, inventory for my pencil eyeliners. I had 21 in 2021. And then I went and bought that uh, ColourPop collection. And now I have 44. But I'm very pleased with them because I have like every single color I could ever literally need. And I use them often. I have actually one in today. So really happy I got those. For loose glitter, I had 21 in 2021 and I have 22 in 2022, which is really odd. Uh, I think it's, oh, I got a MAC one. That's right. I got uh, the ruby color because I share with my cousin. Sometimes she wants red glitter and I also like the color. So I thought if I get it, I'll just give some to her. I think she'll really like it. Um, and then for brow products, I had 10 in 2021 and I still have 10. Um, and I foresee that going down quite substantially this year. I'm really excited. When I say substantially, I guess I should say like a few, you know, because it's brow products. It doesn't go super fast. Um, but yeah, I, I'm excited to get the number down a little bit. But I have my favorites and I'm okay with 10. I would be fine with a little less. Um, mascara. I had 14 in 2021. I have 16 in 2022. Uh, that's not really an exciting one, but you know, I have mostly sim like the smaller sample deluxe size sample sizes like this, the smaller ones, mostly those. I have a few full size, but I don't usually buy full size. Um, and then for 2021 for eyeshadow primers, I had seven and for 2022, I have eight, but I will be reducing that for sure this year because I'm going to be using through at least one <laughs> for sure. Um, and then perfume, it's the very, very last one that I have, uh, perfume body spray. I had nine in 2021 and I still have the same nine now in 2022. Um, last year I used up four, so it was really strange. I'm not sure how that worked because I haven't bought any. But I guess I counted them differently. So um, 2020, I used up, I had 12 and then 2021, it says nine. So I don't know how I counted that because I used up four. Um, oh, I see one that needs to be removed from here. So I actually have eight. And then, yeah, I actually have eight of these. So yeah, that looks right now. So yeah, I actually used four. So that, that should have been... Um, 12 and 2022 sorry yeah 12 and 2020 and 8 in 2021 because I used up all four of those so my inventory was off but that's pretty much it I'm sorry I'm talking out loud on everything and I know I'm like always very distracted with my son um he, sometimes like I'd like to know what's going on with him because he gets upset easily my son is autistic and um, I always like to know like he's okay and he when I see he's getting yelled at it's because he's done something or touched something that he really shouldn't have like lately he's been trying to stick his hands in the toilet water and <laughs> so I know that that's an issue but I like to make sure he's okay so um that's why I sometimes panic a little bit <laughs> and I know that's TMI but 
you guys can tell I'm a little bit excited to be back. I'm excited to be filming and I'm, I'm sorry this took so long. I kind of figured this would be about a half an hour video, but that's everything that I have for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Put your numbers down below if you do your inventory um, or if you have an Instagram or a YouTube page and I maybe haven't seen it, go ahead and link that down below. But chances are I've probably seen it because I pretty much watch like every single one that I can find for inventory videos. I love them so much. Um, but yeah, let me know what your favorite category is down below as well. And I will talk to you again later. Bye everybody.